So before I get started, I just wanted to say to my wife of 18 years, happy anniversary, Schmoopy. Thanks for putting up with me and all the sawdust I've tracked into the house over the years. Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. In order to give my shop stool legs a little more visual interest, I'm going to chamfer the outside edge of each leg, the outside corner rather. And to do that, I'm going to use a 45 degree chamfering bit at the router table. And I'm going to do it in two passes to try to avoid chip out. Now that I have all the legs chamfered, I'm going to round over the three remaining corners. In order to attach the seat to the stool, I'm going to use these metal tabletop hold down fasteners. Now these just clip into a slot in the rail and they screw into the seat. Now in order to make these slots in the rail, I'm going to use my biscuit joiner. Okay, so it's time to glue this guy up and I'm going to do the glue up in two sub assemblies just to make things a little bit easier on myself. I took all my rails and I coated the very ends of them with something called waxy lit and it's just a light wax. And this helps to prevent glue from soaking into the very ends of the rails and it makes cleanup a lot easier. For the seat, I decided to go with cherry, and I'm going to put a stripe of maple going down the center, and I think that'll look pretty cool. So I have a piece of eight quarter cherry, and that'll give me plenty of material to scoop out the center section of the seat. I set my table saw fence so there's just a little bit of room between the saw blade and the cherry. So that way when I rip the maple that will go in between the two pieces of cherry, there'll be plenty of material on the top and bottom of the maple to hand plane down to the thickness of the cherry. Now I'm ready to glue all three pieces together, the two pieces of cherry and the center piece of maple. And in order to keep all three pieces on the same plane on the bottom, I'm going to glue them up on top of my granite surface plate. Now you guys have seen me do this before. The glue wipes off really nice after you're done. I have the seat out of the clamps and I was going to use a hand plane to take this center maple strip down flush to the cherry, but instead I think I'm just going to use the planer. I have my curve traced out on both sides of my seat, on the front and the back. And I'm going to remove the bulk of this material at the table saw using a stacked dado set. And then I'm just going to clean it up with a cove bit with a router. With a core box bit at the router table, I'm going to take several passes and I'm going to keep adjusting the fence and I'm going to adjust the height of the router bit. We'll eventually clean up most of the wood on this curve. We won't get it perfect, but at the end I'll finish it off with hand tools. The router did a decent job of getting this curve down where I wanted, but it's still not perfect. I'm going to need to next use a gooseneck scraper and some sandpaper. With my block plane, I'm just going to lightly chamfer the bottoms of the legs of the stool. That way when the stool is dragged across the floor, it uh, will help prevent the legs from getting splintered. I am really on the home 
home stretch now with this shop stool. I went ahead and applied a couple coats of a mixture of varnish, uh, boiled linseed oil, and mineral spirits in equal parts. And the only thing I have left to do now is to attach the top. I hope you guys enjoyed my shop stool build. This was really a fun project. I know it's gonna get a lot of use around the shop. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And also you can join the Garage Woodworks newsletter by going to my website. And another great way to stay up to date with everything Garage Woodworks is by liking my Facebook page. I usually post updates when I'm building projects and it's, it's just a neat way to see what I'm doing. Thanks for watching guys. I set my tip. <coughs>